you people. How's it going? Uh, I got an update on my Factorio base here. Uh, I finally got my um, space science automated. And it's pretty awesome just watching these rockets take off every few seconds. It's, uh, it's not 100% like fully, um, you know, fully flowing. There's a couple of bottlenecks. But uh, it's still working really well. Like, uh, this is cool. Look at these. I got I got four of these in operation, and this one's about to take off right now, actually. And it's just doing this every 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 so often, very shortly. <laughs> Plays the alarm and everything. And then it just takes off. <laughs> still so cool. I remember the first time I launched one of these. It was like a huge deal for me because it took me months to. Uh, to actually get to that point. And here I got a base where it's launching these every every few seconds. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. This is still a mostly legit playthrough here. The, the only real crotch I've been using is this uh, land mover. You can make water trenches. It's a pretty, it's a pretty big crutch. Uh, but I, I, you know, I haven't gotten the hang of fighting biters the whole way through. They're really they, they really get out of hand. So instead I just blocked them off. But uh, as far as ore patches go, that's all legit. And uh, I'm using my train system here too, by the way. It's still a, it's still working out. Uh, I was noticing a couple of bottlenecks uh, just trying to get into my stations. This one right here, it's very centrally located. So a bunch of trains were waiting. They were kind of queuing to get in. So I added this little piece right here, and that actually made a pretty helpful difference. Just that one little piece of track let let the ones that were coming from this side get in without waiting for the whole intersection. Um, I think I might reorganize the stations, because these two here, there there's plenty of room, and they can handle a lot of traffic, but since they're so far off to the side, it doesn't actually use them most of the time. But yeah, I've got a, I've got a lot of these set up with an auto cutoff switch, which... Uh, I'm surprised this one hasn't cut off. Let's see, why isn't it cut off? Oh, it hasn't hit enough. Yeah, there, there, the each of the individual sciences, they could go up to a thousand a second, but they can't go up to a thousand a second all at once. And uh, so, if more than one of these is trying to run at once, um, that that you know, the resources kind of get distributed to different things and some of the the rates go down also this is probably still running yeah because I keep running over here and taking a whole ton of these modules I just uh, put a new oil rig online and I just kind of brute forced it with a ton of these <laughs> beacons but uh, yeah I was running low on oil from my old one it was really overtaxed and these were all just oh, I turned it off there, there, it's just giving me droplets of oil. It wasn't enough, and I was running out of plastic over here. But yeah, it's mostly it's mostly working. The trains are working great. Uh, they're they're zipping around all over the place. I renamed all of my stations for demand and supply. Uh, it makes it look a little cleaner. Uh, I might have actually put the the um, little graphic ahead of, ahead of it if I were to rename them, but there's so many, I don't want to rename them again. But yeah, you can put these tags in here. I didn't know about this until recently, but you put like a tag like um, iron plate and it replaces it with a little icon. It really makes it look pretty clean. A lot easier to see what's going on. Oh wow, what's happening here? Usually these guys don't even bother trying to attack me because they they can't get in. I don't know why they're even trying. Oh well. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool though. I'm pretty proud of this base. It still um, needs some improvement. Oh yeah, I put a fourth nuclear power in. When I was building my, my space science, I actually started running out of power again. I couldn't believe it because it's been forever since I had had to get another power plant. But yeah, now I've got four of them. Uh, each one of these four runs independently with four core. I could have probably combined them for better, uh, better multipliers, but I just like them separate. It's cleaner. It's easier to, you know, plot them out.
but yeah, I haven't I haven't actually mined any um, nuclear, or, you know, uranium ore for for I don't know, hundreds of hours on the save, and I've just still been using this old supply. My nuclear stockpile still has plenty of uh, plenty of power in it, yeah, which is good because I don't actually even know where another nuclear uh, another uranium field is. I haven't seen any for ages. I, I mean, I, I looked around for a while, and I haven't found any since you know, literally hundreds of hours. But this should still last me another couple hundred hours. The amount I already have. A lot of it hasn't even been, uh, yeah, you know, you can use the enrichment. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of this base. This is a pretty awesome game. Uh, it was a real, it was a real, um, grind to get this last bit here because these, um, it just it seemed a little daunting to get to this, these last uh, pieces here. This one was a big deal. It's a lot of big chips, a lot of expensive chips. Uh, and then I actually had to do the stuff for the satellites too, which uh, when I finally got the rockets where I could build the rockets, then I still had to go and do the, uh, the satellite. Mostly it's just getting bulk of these these panels and stuff. I actually don't even have it fully automated because I, uh, I don't have these fully automated, but uh, that's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, look, just this one little building builds all the all the satellites to keep up with the demand of all of the, the pretty much this whole block of producers, which are dependent on many more blocks of producers. It's pretty uh, it's a pretty crazy game. It's a lot of fun though when you when you get it when you get it running, humming along, all these systems working. It's uh, something else. Anywho. Just making a quick update. Still playing some Factorio. Uh, waiting for the the world to stop losing its mind over uh, this Corona thing. Uh, you know, people got to get back to work at some point. <laughs> Anywho, y'all have a good one. Uh, see you around.